Hey YouTube, it's me. I know it's been weeks since you've heard from me, seen me. Um, a lot um, has happened since I last spoke with you guys. I don't know if I mentioned, I had my wisdom teeth extracted or two of them extracted. And um, the whole week I was on vacation recuperating, making sure I didn't go outside. Um, you know how your grandparents and elder adults would say, um, catch cold in your mouth. So I made sure I did not go outside. And the following week, I start feeling like pain in my ears and my throat. I'm wondering what the heck is going on. And I was taking Theraflu. I actually took a whole box of Theraflu. No runny nose or nothing like that. And this it pain when I felt like, like someone was just drilling something through my head. So, got that under control. Um, I'm still kind of mm, up and down with it. I want to just um, show you guys some things that I've purchased um, since I last did a video. Also, things that I purchased and I haven't had a chance to really show you guys. Um, so you can get some ideas. It is the holiday season. So I just want to show you guys what I got. Okay, the first thing um, I want to mention to you is Zoya. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Z-O-Y-A. I have been on their site like crazy. Well, I haven't been recently, but previously I've been on their site So I have like all these polishes from them. Um, I did a blog on, I think I did a blog on a few, yeah, I did a blog on, um, actually my Zoya collection thus far, so you can definitely go check out my blog if you want to see, um, detailed swatches or a little bit of information on the polishes. Um, what I'm just going to do today is just show you what I have. Um, I'm really not going to go into too much detail because, like I said, a lot of polishes I haven't worn. But I will discuss the polishes that I have worn. Okay, the first thing I want to talk about is this. Um, this is their 3-in-1. It's their nail polish remover. Um, this is also really good when you want to prep your nail before putting polish on. Um, it's also a really good nail cleaner. Um, I'm going to tell you why I like this. Um, it smells really good. It reminds you of flowers almost. And a lot of polish removers, for example, cover up the name. This doesn't smell nothing like this. Um, and this is actually pure acetone. This is not by Zoya. And um, the reason why I have this bottle here, a lot of my glitter polishes I cannot get off and I have to use pure acetone or I would be here for minutes, almost an hour trying to get polish off of one nail. So this is really gentle. Um, with this polish here, I believe, yeah, it does have acetone in here, but it's um, a really mild formula for the acetone. Um, it's the bomb. Even the packaging for Zoya is unbelievable. The bottle has a flip top. Um, if you can see, it has three holes in the very top of the bottle. Um, it's not like the other bottle that I show you where you have to put the cotton ball on top and turn it upside down. With this, you just put the cotton ball on top of the bottle and press down. It's like, wow, this is some nice stuff. So, um, this is the bomb. This is amazing. Amazing. And this is an eight ounce bottle. So, it's a really nice size bottle. Um, something else that I have from Zoya or um, Cutica is the solid gold cuticle oil gel. Um, it is supposed to be a gel. What I have noticed with this, and I'll just come up a little closer so I can show you guys. What I have noticed with this, I hope you can see, it comes out as an oil. I mean, it's like liquid. It's really not jelly to me. It comes out as an oil. 
and it does smell good you can smell the tea tree um, in here um, it looks like it would be a gel if you can see the bubble inside it looks like it would be a gel um, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to shake it up before I use it or what but it comes out more as an oil it's really not that loose so I would say that it is a gel but it's a looser gel um, but this is really nice. Like I said, this is the Cuticle Oil Gel by Cutica, which is also um, in the same line with Zoya. Um, another thing or things that I have from Zoya is this. Um, this is their color box. Um, if you go to their site, they have different boxes. They have like contrast, they have reds, they have pale pinks. They have purples and what you would get in this box is three polishes um, and this is what the outside of the box looks like and it's really soft um, it's like a suede velour type of feel and the colors that I have in here are Trixie which is this color um, I did wear this color for the Christmas holiday and I must say that this daggone Trixie is a must have. Trixie is a must, 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 must have. Um, another polish in the box is Luna. Luna looks like a really glittery silver. Have not tried Luna, but you can see all the glitter in there and by the looks of this it looks like it's not going to be a polish where it's difficult for me to take off like some of the other glitter polishes I, ha I have and this one is Raven um, Raven is something that I was going to order and I'm glad that I look at my whole collection to make sure that I didn't order the same thing twice because I have done it before. Um, but if you look at Raven, it looks black. Just all black. I was trying to shake it up to see if I can pull some of the glitter specks out. But it is a really um, dark black. But it has hints of glitter in here. But the glitter isn't pulling up so yeah I can I can see it when I look at it really close on the side I can see the glitter um, you guys probably will not because it's really 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 fine I mean it's so fine you you probably would not be able to see it it's hints of glitter um, but that is my one and only color box that I have from Zoya and this is the Ridge filler I've been using this um, a lot and the what rich filler is good for is a base coat um, if you have peeling on your nails and your nail bed is uneven the rich filler is really good for having an even surface on your nails um, once you put the rich filler base coat on you can go on to your actual nail polish and top it off with a top coat so I've tried this twice and it's pretty good I like that it's a base coat all in one so I can only have to take that one step as far as my base coat is concerned but yeah this is a really good another color. polish that I have worn is this and this is Snow White which is a true white polish it's white 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 polish is actually my favorite color polish and I'm glad that I got this um, because I probably will be wearing it a lot uh, something else that I have is from their new field collection 2011 is Kristen and this is the color for Kristen um, it's a bluish gray color more blue though um, I've gotten so many compliments on this color um, and people ask me what color is it is it gray is it blue and I say it's a mixture of both but this is so gorgeous so beautiful I absolutely love my Kristen um, another polish is a Caitlyn and Caitlyn is gray it's gray all day it's true gray 
and it's pretty much gray look at this in a bottle it looks so blah like okay woo, woo, a purple when you put this on your nails it looks like a totally totally different color but Malia is so pretty and I like this because you can wear it all year round fall spring summer winter it doesn't matter this is like a perfect all year round polish not too dark not too light it's just perfect uh Cody is another polish that I have um it's a dark dark brown it is also a really pretty pretty winter fall color um it's a dark burgundy um really really dark burgundy haven't worn it yet um i me personally i like to wear whatever color i want to wear regardless of the season i know that a lot of ladies don't wear the brighter color polishes in the winter fall me i don't care i will wear a neon fluorescent green when it's snowing outside and it's mid-December. Whatever I feel like, whatever my mood is, that's what I put on. So that's why I mentioned to you guys, this would be great for the fall, great for the winter. If you're one of those ladies that like to cater your polish to the season, I'm not, however. Um, this one is Becca and I'm going to tell you why I purchased this one. Um, I was looking at the reality show Love and Hip Hop and I saw Emily with a really nice green polish on when she was at a luncheon or dinner date. I wanted something close to that so I got this. I'm not sure if I'm going to be close to what I was looking for or hoping for but I'm thinking this is pretty close. Also, I have Blair. Blair is a, hmm, I think this is from their Gems collection. Um, it's sort of like a metallic-y burgundy color. It's really, I wish that I was going to buy twice. And what I have learned to do is with Zoya, since I'm probably going to be sticking with them for a while, I wrote down all the polishes that I have. So when I'm online um, and I want to get more polishes, I don't buy duplicates if it's last minute. Green shimmer. You can see specks of glitter in there. I have not worn this yet either, but that's really pretty. And this is so so not winter so not fall this is so summer i wouldn't even say this is spring but i will be putting it on this winter <laughs> and it's hot hot pink this is ally a l i ally and it's like fluorescent neon pink i mean boom it wouldn't surprise me if this glowed in the dark. It's so fluorescent. So, those are my Zoya items that I have purchased. Also, I have purchased OCC items, and I have to show you guys. Um, the polish that I'm wearing today is Ghostly, and this is the bottle. And it is a pale, really pale lilac. And... I love it. Um, another one is fondue and it's a dark chocolate. If you notice the bottles are different. Um, this bottle here is the old collection from OCC. They actually had a sale. Um, they had polishes for two dollars. Yeah this is their new bottle this is their old bottle so that's why I have a mixture of both. Um, when I placed the order um, I just ordered a few items from the new bottles and the old bottles. Um, and this, like I said, is blackboard. It's a really, really, really dark green. Dark green. Um, this is tattoo. It sort of looks similar to blackboard. I'll put these two together. This one right here is tattoo. But if you can see, tattoo is a lighter green than blackboard. Blackboard is really dark. Tattoo is dark also, but it's more like an evergreen. These are the two side by side. 
I love green. Green is like my favorite, one of my favorite colors. Um, this is Jack O, and it's an orange. It reminds me of their Safety Orange, which is my favorite lip tar by OCC. Um, it's not bright. It's kind of muted. It's a little toned down, 